Peter Block here at ACC 17 in Washington, D.C. And with me is Bob Giuliano from the Brigham and Women's in Boston. And uh, we all know about the four-year trial. It is the sort of the best at ACC 17. Everyone is talking about it. PCS K9 inhibition drops your L2 incredibly low levels. And Bob has done a study within the four-year trial about uh, cerebral function. So brain function after lowering your LDL, is it good or bad or do we not know, Bob? Yeah, well, the Ebbinghaus study was designed to answer this question. Are there changes in cognition uh, with lowering the LDL to very low levels, as you mentioned, on average 30 milligrams per deciliter with evolocanumab, the PCSK9 inhibitor, compared to control. Ebbinghaus was a little under 2,000 patients. They were all part of the foyer trial. And we did a battery of neurocognitive tests. We also administered patient self uh, questionnaires at the end of the trial, and we tracked neurocognitive adverse events. And, and, and all three of these measures we saw no differences between evolocumab and placebo, no differences according to the achieved LDL group. We even analyzed a group that got below 25 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so let me have uh, two questions. First of all, let me point out that the brain actually does some cholesterol metabolism, doesn't it, number one? And uh, that's what the issue is. Can the brain still function normally? But more importantly, uh, tell me about the long-term outcomes of this. You only yeah. followed patients for how long, and yeah. what do you think about that issue? Yeah. Well, you make an excellent point. The brain uh, can, can uh, generate its own cholesterol locally. It's not dependent upon the serum cholesterol. Second point is monoclonal antibody to PCSK9 inhibitor is a big molecule. It doesn't cross the intact blood-brain barrier. Uh, that being said, you know, we followed our patients on average for 20 months. Uh, but we treat patients with hyperlipidema for years, decades, if not their lifetime. So in this trial, you know, limited horizon, but we're going to continue to follow patients in the open label extension for many, many years, and we'll continue to test them and see how they do. Okay, so it sounds to me like this is all good news. Is there any bad news at all in this trial, Bob? Uh, you know, that's the first time I've been asked this question, so I don't have a ready-made answer. I mean, not really. Uh, we looked at various subgroups. We looked at cognition from different angles, and it all seemed quite consistent. Um, I think the, the major question is what you asked me is, you know, what happens beyond the 20 months? And we hope to have an answer for that in the future. Well, you know, the thing that we all forget is that we're born with cholesterols that are about 20 or 25. And the brain seems to do just fine in utero. So I suspect that isn't going to be an issue. And I really appreciate your being here, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.